Hello, welcome to watch the proteomics quantification videos, which is presented by Creative Proteomics. Today, we are going to learn some basic knowledge about iTrac. iTrac is an acronym of isobaric tag for relative and absolute quantitation, which was developed by Applied Biosystems Incorporation in 2004. It is an isobaric labeling method to determine the amount of proteins from different sources in just one single experiment by mass spectrometry. Speaking to the principle of iTrac, we should know the structure of iTrac reagents. The isobaric tagging reagents consist of a unique charged reporter group, a peptide reactive group, and a neutral balance group. The peptide reactive group covalently links an iTrac reagent isobaric tag with each lysine side chain, and N terminus group of a peptide, labeling all peptides in a given sample digest. The neutral balance group ensures the iTrac labeled peptide displays the same mass to maintain an overall mass of 145 Dalton for 4 plex, and 305 Dalton for 8 plex. A mixture of peptides is obtained by hydrolyzing the protein sample. All peptides in the sample are labeled with different iTrac reagents, and all labeled protein samples are mixed. The peptides are subjected to tandem mass spectrometry to obtain the mass spectrum. In the first stage mass spectrometry, after being labeled with different isotopes regardless of which iTrac reagent is used, the same peptide from different sources is completely identical in molecular weight, and they appear as the same peak. Samples of the same peak are collected to perform a second stage mass spectrometry, in which the bond between the balance group and the peptide reactive group is broken, and the balance group is lost. The same peptide with different isotopic labels produces different masses of reporter ions, and the reporter ions exhibit different peaks. Quantitative information of the same peptides between different samples can be obtained by analyzing related data with software and databases. In the general workflow for an iTrac experiment, each sample is reduced, cysteine blocked, and digested with trypsin. Each sample is labeled with a different iTrac tag in a single tube. And then we can combine all iTrac reagent labeled samples into one sample mixture for liquid chromatography tandem mass spectrometry analysis. For a better result, there are some factors we should consider. The first one is the evaluation of labeling efficiency and isotope impurity correction. The ratio compression and its correction, reporter ion intensity dynamic range, as well as the effect of unique and shared peptides in inferring protein ratios, are also important factors. At last, the estimation of protein fold changes and comparison of multiple isobaric labeling experiments may also affect the results. Quantitative proteomics using mass spectrometry is one of the most important advantages of iTrac, especially in the field of clinical proteomics. The progress of metabolism of a particular drug, or the progressive concentration of certain biomarkers at different stages of a particular disease, can easily be quantified using iTrac based studies. It also has the ability to analyze proteins from various source of samples, including cells, tissues, or serum. Multiplexing ability is another great advantage of iTrac. There are eight reporter ions available that therefore achieve multiplexing at the level of eight samples. In addition, iTrac can reduce overall time and variation. On the other hand, iTrac reagents are extremely costly and also extremely sensitive to contamination from salts. Sophisticated software is required for analyzing iTrac data. Moreover, the variability arises due to the inefficient enzymatic digestion. There is an example that iTrac was used to identify and quantify tyrosine phosphorylation sites upon insulin stimulation. In this experiment, adipocytes were stimulated with insulin for different times. After cell lysis and digestion, the researchers used iTrac reagents to label resulting peptides. The labeled peptides were combined for further analysis, like phosphotyrosine peptide immunoprecipitation, immobilized metal affinity chromatography, and liquid chromatography tandem mass spectrometry. After mass spectrometry, the identity of the peptide was determined and the area of the tag masses, 114, 115, 116, and 117 mass to charge ration was used to calculate the ratio of phosphorylated peptides at the different time points compared with 5 minute insulin stimulation. At Creative Proteomics, we are confident to provide professional and reliable eye track services and other proteomics quantification services, including but not limited to TMT based proteomics analysis, silic based proteomics analysis, 
absolute quantification, label-free quantification, and semi-quantitative proteomics analysis. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or more requires about a track method, please do not hesitate to contact us by sending an email or visiting our website. We are very glad to provide you with a truck service and other protein quantification services.